Hello, good morning! It's math class and today we are going to revise what we have learned in the previous lessons. You know why? Because we have a unit test next week. And I want you to be the best in the world. I want you to get a full mark. I know you can do it because you are the smartest. So I want you everyone to be ready for the revision of today because this revision will help you to remember all the things that you have learned in the previous lessons. I want you also to get your math book because we are going to use it, okay everyone? And if you look at or if you look over here you can see that we are going to revise. Who can tell me? Time to the hour and time to the half hour. You are correct. I am so proud of you. So let's get started. But oh yeah, I forgot to ask you about the day and date. So yesterday was Tuesday. So what day comes after Tuesday? Wednesday. Correct. And the date is May 27, 2020. Okay, so we are going to revise or let me say by the end of this lesson, you will be able to read and write time to the nearest hour and also you can recognize time to the nearest half hour. And here we go, there are two videos, one of them is about time to the hour and the other one is about time to the half hour. So watch the videos everyone and then when you come back we're going to revise time to the hour and time to the half hour. Okay, so everyone I want you to look over here and to tell me what do you see. Look over here first. What do we call this type of clock? So, okay everyone, now I want you to be focused and to pay attention to what I am going to say, okay? So, let me start by asking you a question, okay? Now, I need your help. I need you to help me to answer my question questions okay so first of all i want you to look over here and tell me what do you see what do we call this type of clock excellent analog clock we call it analog clock excellent look at the other one so what do you see what do we call this type or what do we call this clock a digital clock amazing you are wonderful it's a digital clock so in the previous lessons we have learned that in the analog clock there are two hands one of them short and one of them long as you can see the short one will help you to read the hour and the long one will help you to read the minute so we call the short one hour hand and the long one minute hand okay and look at the digital clock as you can see on the screen of the digital clock that there are uh, only numbers here for the hour and here for the minute okay Okay, everyone, so I want you to look over here again and to tell me what is the name of this clock. Analog clock. Well done. And look over here. Tell me, what is the name of this clock? Digital clock. Thank you for helping. And everyone, before reading the question or solving the question, I want to remind you, everyone, that... There are 12 numbers in the analog clock and also 60 minutes in one hour. 
and I told you before to skip count by fives to read the minutes. And there are five minutes between every two numbers. So let's read the minutes together. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, and finally sixty. So I'm going to keep the clock over here because the clock will help us to read the time. So as you can see everyone, here are three analog clocks and we need to write the time on the digital clock and also down over here. I am going to give you some time. I want you to look at these clocks and try to read the time. Remember, there are steps to follow. You need to look at the short one first. So read the time correctly or you can read the time correctly by looking at the short one first and then the long one. Remember, the short one is for the hour and the long one is for the minute. You got it. Well done. So everyone, remember to look at the short one first and then move to the long one. I'm going to give you some time. I want you to look at each analog clock and try to read the time. Remember, look at the short one first and then the long one. And remember, everyone, something else. So if the long one points to number 12, here I mean the minute hand, yeah, because the long one is for the minute, okay? So if the minute hand points to number 12, you're going to write two zeros. Look over here, you're going to write the same as here, okay? So I'm going to give you some time, everyone, and I want you to look at these clocks and to read the time. Read the time and write it down on a piece of paper. Take your time, everyone. Take your time, everyone. Don't be in a hurry. Let's check the answers. Wow, correct. Your answers are correct. So let's read the time together. 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Okay, and now what you are going to do is to draw the hands on the clock, write the time. Okay, so here we go everyone. Who can read the time? 5 o'clock, well done. And over here, 10 o'clock and the last one is three o'clock good readers okay so i'm gonna help you to do the first one and then you will do this one and also this one i know you can do it okay because you are brilliant so let me help you to do the first one Okay, so the time is 5 o'clock, as you can see. So, what I am going to do is to draw two hands. The short one will point to the hour and the long one will point to the minute. So, the hour is 5, but there are no minutes, as you can see, right? So, it's 0 minutes. So, in this case, I'm going to draw two hands, okay? So, the short one will point to number 5 because it's 5 o'clock. Okay, as you can see, and the long one will point to number 12, okay? This is the hour hand and this is the minute hand. So the time now is 5 o'clock, okay? As you can see, I'm going to write number 5 again. And here we go. So now I need your help. Get a piece of paper and 
draw the analog clock, the one you can see over here, and then remember to draw also the hands, okay? Remember, there are two hands, one of them for the hour and one of them for the minute. Uh, you can get a cup or anything that will help you to draw a circle. So draw the circle or a proper circle and then uh, write the numbers from 1 to 12. After that, remember to uh, put the hands or draw the hands correctly to show the time, the time which is written, okay, over here for this clock and over here for this clock. Okay, so take your time. You can do this later on. Now let's check the answers. As you can see, 5 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 3 o'clock. So, and everyone remember, always the long hand will move from number 12, okay, and it will go all around the clock to make one hour, okay? Okay, everyone, and here we go. As you can see, there is a problem and we need to solve it. So, remember, there are some steps to follow, right? So, who can help me to remember the steps? Or, let me say, the strategies we are used to follow before when we have a problem. So first of all we are going to underline what do we know and what do we need to find right after that we're gonna plan. Plan means the way that we are going to use. So let's read the question together slowly and carefully. Okay, so let's say Hen gets home at 3 o'clock, okay? And Maha gets home one hour later. So what time does Maha get home? Okay, so everyone, I need your attention. So first of all, or let me say I'm going to use this analog clock because it will, it will help me to find the answer out. So, as I said to you so far, that hen gets home at 3 o'clock, as you can see, 3 o'clock, and Maha gets home one hour later, so, one hour later, so what is the hour that comes after 3? It's 4, well done! So, let's check the answer, everyone. Yay, it's four o'clock because four comes after three and from three to four there is one hour. Okay, and here we go. As you can see, there is another problem and we need to solve it. Remember the strategies we always follow to solve such problems. So let's read carefully and slowly. Basketball practice starts at 4. So let's underline this over here. Let's say Ali eats a snack two hours before practice. So what time does Ali eat his snack? So what I am going to do is to use my analog clock and try to find the correct time. So everyone, let's read it one more time and try to solve it, okay? So basketball practice starts at 4. So this is the time, okay? And Ali eats a snack two hours before practice. So we need to count back word. Back word. Okay? So from four to three, 
if we count back every one is one hour and from three to two is one hour so as you can see one two two hours so we can say Ali eats his snack okay what time what time does Ali eat his snack two o'clock well done you are amazing so it's two o'clock thank you for helping okay everyone and now let's move to revise time to the half hour okay so time to the half hour is something that we have learned before together so it's not that hard you just need to use your background knowledge to remember the things that you have learned before about time to the half hour okay everyone as you can see look over here if we okay draw this line in the middle of the clock it means we divided the clock into two parts so we call each part a half okay and something else everyone let me erase this one okay so look over here and as you can see that the long one is pointing to number six right and the long one is for the minute so in this case if I kept count starting from here so five I need your help because usually we start from number one so five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty So as you can see everyone, if the long one stops here, we're going to say it's 30 minutes. And in this case, the, or the, the hour hand will be in the middle of two numbers. But usually we're going to say it's 2 o'clock because the uh, hour hand is moving to number 3 but it's not three yet it's not three o'clock it's going to number three but it's not three yet so everyone i'm gonna give you some time to solve these questions over here okay get a piece of paper and try to write the answers i'm gonna give you some time to think about the answers read the time carefully look at the short one first i'm gonna help you here as you can see the short one is between 9 and 10, right? But it's not 10 yet. Okay, so we're going to say it's 9. So I want you to do the same. Go ahead and start. So let's check your answers. Stop the video. Write the answers. And then let's see your answers look at your answers wow it's amazing your answers are correct i am so proud of you everyone i want you later on to uh, focus i mean in the exam time please focus and try to get a full mark and you can do it i know i trust you and here we go everyone so this time you're gonna draw the hands on the clock after that write the time so when i say half past four half so the long one will divide the clock into two halves so what you're going to do and the short one will be pointing to number four so i'm going to help you to do the first one so half past four half past four 
So what we are going to do first is to draw the short hand or the hour hand, okay? So when I say it's half past four, imagine even the short hand will be in the middle of two numbers exactly as the long one okay i mean here the minute hand which will be in the middle also of the clock so let me show you everyone as i said to you so far the short one will be between or in the middle of two numbers and also the long one will be in the middle of the clock So as you can see, the short one or the hand or the hour hand is moving to number five, but it's not five yet. It's in the middle. It's in the middle between number four and five because it's going from four to five, but it's not five yet. So the time here will be five. Let me write it. Five? You tell me. No. It's not five. It will be four thirty. Remember, from here to there, there are thirty minutes. Okay, I'm gonna leave these two questions for you. Take your time. Get a piece of paper and try to write the for the answers, take your time, stop the video. Let's take the answers together. Wow, well done. Very good, everyone. Okay, here we have a problem and we need to solve it together. So I need your help. This will be the last problem for today. Let's say Maryam woke up at half past seven. Okay, she needs to leave for school one hour later. Show and write the time she needs to leave for school. We said we're going to change the name from Elie to Mariam. So let's remember the steps together. We need to find or we need to underline what do we know and what do we need to find and finally plan or find a way to solve the problem. So let's read the question one more time carefully and slowly. So Maryam woke up at half past seven. Okay, and she needs to leave for school one hour later. So let's go to the, uh, to my analog clock here because it will help me to find out the time. So let's say, she woke up around half past seven, okay? So let's say it's over here. I'm gonna change this one minute. So I'm gonna make it more bigger also, one minute. Okay, so everyone, first let's draw half past seven. So the short one or the hour hand will be in the middle of two numbers, as you can see. It's between number seven and eight, but it's not eight yet. So we can say it's seven, seven, 30. So when it say half, the long one will be also in the middle of the clock, in the middle of the clock, okay? So as you can see, it's seven, 30 or half past seven. So everyone, as I said to you so far, Mariam woke up around or woke up at half past seven, as you can see, but she needs to leave for school one hour later. So we're gonna move. Okay, so look carefully everyone, it's 7.30, okay? So after one hour, it will be 8.30. Okay, in this case, everyone, you need to get any analog clock and try to make 
one full turn after 7.30 and you can see that it will show 8.30. So let's check the answer now. Yes, it's correct. Let me erase. So as you can see, it's 8.30, half past 8. And here we go. Complete each sentence. Okay, so let's read carefully and find the missing word. A uses only numbers to show time. Is it a digital clock or analog clock? Uses only numbers to show time. Well done! It's a digital clock. And an has an hour hand and a minute hand to show time. Hour hand and minute hand. It's the analog clock. Amazing. So let's check the answers. Excellent. So let, let's read them carefully together. A digital clock uses only numbers to show time. An analog clock has an hour hand and a minute hand to show time. Thank you everyone. Study hard. I wish you the best.